Students at Harding had a blast on a recent evening, and it's all been thanks to the folks at NASA. As you've seen here on Channel 12 in the past, Harding Middle School has been working with NASA as part of the NASA Explorer Schools program. This program has been designed to get students at Harding excited about math and science. Now finishing the second of a three-year program, the students and teachers have had many unique experiences and recently showcased their experiments at a NASA night open house. Another mission that we have, we started a while back. The night began as parents and students filled the auditorium for a live video chat with a NASA representative in Huntsville, Alabama. He presented a slideshow about the new missions NASA has coming up. After that, parents and students visited different rooms around the building, each with a science-themed activity. We've got flight simulators and uh, paper tower races where the, they build the largest paper tower. We have people making GAC in one room. We have two planetariums. One of them is an actual planetarium. The other one is a constellation room where the students can actually poke holes in a, in a, like a big plastic bag and be able to see the constellations that they put in there. And we have a stomp rocket competition. Each activity was intended to get everyone excited about space exploration and aerospace engineering in general, which is the goal of the NASA Explorer Schools program. As Harding finishes up this year, they will be looking for sponsors to help keep this program going. The first year is kind of an introductory year where we learn the things that we need to know in order to keep our NASA funding coming in and to be associated with NASA. The second year is an implement phase, implement phase. and during that time frame we actually take lessons that we're learning in different workshops and, and things that NASA have been teaching us and taking them to the students and actually showing the students a little bit more about the exciting field of aerospace in the NASA areas. Um, our third phase, which will be next year, the third, third year, is a sustainability year. And that's a crucial part for us because at that point, we're looking for partners and people that will work with us in order for us to continue the great work that we've started here and so that the students continue to have the opportunities that we have. The most important part of what this program has provided for students has been opportunities. Students have connected with NASA officials by video conferencing technology, had the chance to meet an astronaut in person, and have created experiments that were recently sent into space. Teachers have also had unique opportunities as well. During the summer months we have five teachers and this year four teachers that will go and do various NASA trainings at the actual NASA sites. And then um, we have some teachers that have done some uh, special opportunities, like we had a team of teachers that went and did a reduced gravity opportunity where they literally were in a plane diving towards the, the earth in order to feel weightlessness. And the neat thing about that is the students got to design the experiment that went on that plane. We got to do an experiment with the students here at Harding and they helped us design the whole experiment and all the materials and put together everything with us and so we got to take it up into the weightless wonders what NASA calls it um, and uh, it was like nothing I've ever experienced before. <laughs> Four teachers from Harding and a handful of others from across the country took the ride on the Weightless Wonder. The teachers experimented with the effects of the magnetic field in reduced and hypergravity. My name is Kisaro Tessie and I'm from Harding Middle School in Des Moines, Iowa. And this is amazing. Uh, we're doing our experiment on the magnetic field and it's totally different than what we thought so far. So. We're going to have some major tweaks to make today to make our second flight better. Go crazy! <laughs> I just feel like I've gotten to do some, I got to do something that was once in a lifetime and, and nobody really gets to do it. The Explore School program has made an impact on many students' lives showing them that there's more to NASA than just flying in space. I think that it's had a huge impact on the students because they can see that there are so many different fields of work that NASA has. And, you know, they could be a lot of different things and still work for NASA. Um, they've got to experience a lot more 
um, with just curriculum that's based around NASA and space and you know rockets and all these things. And so they get to see that kind of stuff in their math and reading and science classes and it's really exciting for them. I find it extremely gratifying and exciting to see the excitement in the students face. Um, my whole reason for getting uh, into teaching at this age level, at the middle school level, is to get students excited about science. Uh, many times we lose them at this point, and I want them to get so excited about science that they want to continue on it. And this is just a fabulous way to get kids excited about science and get them excited about um, becoming so much, or taking in so much more in the science field, because it's more than just a, a white coat and, and a clipboard. Harding is one of only three NASA Explorer schools in Iowa. If you'd like to see other fun activities the students have been up to as part of this program, check out their digital portfolio online. You can get there by visiting our website and clicking this story. Thanks for watching Channel 12. I'm Larissa Hodzik.